Lucky. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Lucky7. Thanks for watching. I got a quick little video on how to program your Dish Network remote. When I'm not playing Call of Duty or posting to YouTube, I actually work for Dish Network, so I know how these remotes work. Keep in mind, if you have a hopper system, it, this process will not work for your hopper system. Only on the 922s, 722s, all the older uh, receivers. These remotes right here, this is the 20.1 remote. This is the black and silver ones, the more common one. The other ones that we have is the all silver one and the all black one that doesn't have this middle section, the DVR section. If you have any of three of those remotes, this process to program your remote to your TV will work. There's two ways to do it, but first off, you want to make sure that your batteries in your remote are good. Go ahead and press the satellite button. If the green button looks a little dim, it means your batteries are going out and this process will not work. You can't program your remote to your TV if your batteries are dying. It won't. It just won't work. So go ahead and change out your batteries. The first way to do it, if you know your TV code, you could either look it up online. I don't have all of them available. Just search for Dish Network. Usually on the website, they'll have a list. Um, or if you previously already know the code, it's really easy. All you have to do is hold down the TV button. Once all these lights light up, let go of the button, and this TV button will start blinking. If you know the code, all you have to do, I have a Vizio right here, so in this case, it's 523, so I'm gonna punch in five, two, three, and then hit pound. You're gonna see the lights flash three times, and that's gonna verify that the code went through. We can go ahead and test on the TV that it'll work, okay? Now, the more common issue is you don't know your TV code. Either you bought a new TV, you had to get a new TV somehow, or you moved it into another room and you have no idea what brand it is or anything like that. So there's a second way to do it. It's called a power scan. Let me just unprogram this real quick. Okay, so again, the power button doesn't work. It's a new TV to a new remote, anything like that. <clears throat> Again, the second way to do it is the power scan. What you're going to want to do, again, is hold down that TV remote, or TV button. All these lights will fly, uh, light up. You're going to let go of the TV button. As soon as this is flashing, the big red power button, you're going to press it once. The light will stay solid, and you're either going to press up or down to go through all of the, um, all of the programs and find it to your TV. So we're gonna just gonna keep pressing. It'll turn off and then turn back on. That means it's cycled through one code. Once it turns back on, you're gonna press it again and you're just gonna keep on pressing it until your TV turns off. So we're gonna hit, that's fine. It turned off. If it turns off right away and you haven't pressed it again, go ahead and hit, pow, uh, hit the pound button. Since we passed it, don't freak out. All you have to do is press the opposite way you were going. So I was pressing up, now I'm gonna press down. Wait for your TV to turn back on. So we can see our TV's turn back on. Now this is the code that's paired up to the TV. Again, like I just said, now to pair it and to program it, you're gonna hit the pound button. Again, you're gonna see these lights blink three times and that means that the remote is now programmed with the TV. We can check out the, uh, the volume buttons. I don't know if you guys can really see it, probably not, but my little bar down here is my volume, it's working, but the more important thing is the power button works again. So again guys, this is for the black and silver one, the all silver one, and the all black remote. If you have the hopper system, it's the all black remote that looks exactly like this. Give me one second. It's this remote here. If you have the hopper system, this process will not work with this remote. I will be posting a separate video on how to do it because most of it is in the on-screen menus. Other than that, guys, that's it. It's really simple. Make sure your batteries are good. If you have the code, you're good. If not, just do the power scan. If you have any questions, um, I can clarify it. Just leave a comment, message me, anything like that. Other than that, guys, really simple. Congratulations. You programmed your remote and you don't have to call us up. 
So, I'm out, guys. I got nothing else. Peace.